Hey there, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing my five most anticipated book releases for August. But before we go ahead and get on into the books, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon so you can be notified every time I post new bookish content. I post new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday and sometimes other days throughout the week. Also, don't forget to check down in the description box below for links to all of my social medias, my Buddy Ray Discord, and my Patreon. The first book I'm going to be talking about is Fury Song by Rosaria Munda. This is the third and I think final book in the Fireborn series, which is a YA fantasy series. And I do have the first book, Fireborn. Um, I haven't read it yet, but it is one that I do want to prioritize. But in this series, we are following two characters, Annie and Lee, and they were both orphaned during this war in their kingdom. Annie, however, was born to a lowborn family, while Lee was born to the aristocrats who used to rule this city. And everybody since the war has had the chance to become dragon riders, so this series has dragons, and both of them are rising stars with regards to dragon riding. And the old family, so Lee's family, that used to rule this kingdom starts to try to reclaim what was taken from them in the war and these two characters have to go try and fight them which puts Lee in a bad position because he essentially has to go against his very family. So this is a series that I've heard good things about. I've heard that it doesn't read like YA and it's one that I could see myself reading very soon. Fury Song comes out on August 9th. The next book is called The First Binding. This is the first book in a new series called The Tales of Tremaine, and it's by R.R. Verdi. Now, the synopsis actually was very vague. It didn't give me a lot of information, but I can gather that this is probably a villain origin story. The synopsis is even written in first person point of view, and the main character, whose name is Ari, says, This is the story of how I let loose evil upon the world. So that kind of hooked me because I like a good uh, villain story because it's often very complicated and there's just more to it. And this book comes out on August 16th. The next book is The Drowned Woods by Emily Lord Jones. This is a YA fantasy. It follows a main character named Murr, and Murr is a water diviner, so I guess the magic system maybe revolves around water or the uh, different types of elements. And she works for this king, and this king sent her off to like, locate all of the different wells that were in this kingdom, I guess, and he ended up poisoning them on purpose to kill a bunch of people. After she discovered what the prince did, Murr tries to disappear. She wants nothing to do with this awful king, but then she decides to basically turn her anger into vengeance and uh, seek recompense for what he did. The only way to do that is to destroy the magical well that keeps the prince's lands safe. So she ends up recruiting kind of like a misfit group of characters that includes the magical uh, characters like fairies in order to take her revenge. And the Drowned Woods comes out on August 16th. The next book is Belladonna by Adeline Grace, and this is another YA fantasy. In this book, we follow a main character named Signa, and Signa is an orphan, and she has lived with a bunch of different families, but she's currently living with the Hawthorne family, and apparently Signa was born into some wealth, and I guess when she turned 18, she was able to uh, access that wealth, and all of the families before her that have housed her have just wanted her money. But with this family, it doesn't seem to be the case and the Hawthorns live at this mansion called Thorn Grove, and it's kind of like a gloomy, dark house. Apparently, the patriarch, the father of this family, throws these wild, elaborate parties. The son is always trying to, like, grapple for power of the family and control the money, and then the stepmom, or the second wife of the patriarch, uh, ends up dying by poisoning. And the only reason Signa knows this is because her spirit appears to her and tells her as such. So Signa, in order to protect the family that's taking care of her, has to find out who exactly poisoned the stepmother and what exactly is going on. But in doing so, she actually comes into an allegiance with death itself. So this is a story where death is personified. And I really don't know how the author is going to work that in if death is actually like a person who's acting like a spirit or it is a spirit. I really don't know, but it looks like there's going to be some sort of like romantic chemistry between the main character and death. It just sounds like a dark, gloomy book that's like full of mystery. I love books that include good poisoners and then probably like a forbidden romance. Belladonna comes out on August 30th. 
And last we have Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. This is an adult thriller and when I was first reading the synopsis of this it reminded me so much of The Guest List by Lucy Foley. So it follows a character named Daisy and her entire extended family and they are all gathering together for their grandmother's 80th birthday. And of course grandmother's house is this crumbling gothic manor that is located on this secluded island. So I actually love settings that are secluded because it kind of just puts in my head the idea that if these characters need help or if something happens to them, there is no one around that can help them. Just kind of adds to like the creepy thriller uh, aspect of the book. So the entire family starts arriving to celebrate Nana's birthday and all of them of course are harboring these secrets. It sounds like there's going to be a lot of family drama and then one by one these family members start to be murdered at this party. So I don't know if our main character is the one that's going to figure out who is murdering the family members or if it's just going to be revealed. But I've never read an Agatha Christie book, but a lot of people said that this has like a lot of Agatha Christie type elements. So if that's something that you enjoy in your thrillers, then I would definitely check out Daisy Darker, which comes out on August 30th. Okay, you guys, those are five of my most anticipated August releases. Let me know in the comments what books you're excited for in the month of August or if you've read any of these and what you thought of them. And I will see y'all in another video soon. Goodbye.